Hey there, and welcome to Doll Motion. I've put all my Pokemon dolls together, so you know what that means. Yes, another Pokemon doll. But this time I invited two more Poke lovers. Barb and Alex from Agenterium. Hey! Welcome! So, which Pokemon are we going to pick? Uh, I don't know. There are only like 898 to choose from. Hmm, we can do first gen cat Pokemon. You like cats, right? Ah, yes, I love cats. Great, then we're going to make Meowth. And I'm going to make Mew. Okay, we're off to make Meowth. See you later. Okay, see you later. So yeah, I'm going to make Mew in doll form. And for the design of my Mew doll, I'm also taking inspiration from Chi, from the anime and manga Chobits. So with this in mind, let's begin! If you saw the little Mew figure in my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. Good luck finding the hint in this video! For this repaint, I'm going to use this already fully prepped Draculaura doll. We still need to take off the hat from the body. To do this safely, we first fill a mug with hot water and dunk the doll in it. The hot water will make the final of the hat soft and easy to remove from the neck pack. Yep, these can go to my doll ear collection. Yeah, it's weird, but just ignore it. With a lino cutter, we make a hole on the lower back for our future tail. Time for a boxy. We're going to give our Mew two cute ears. When they are dry, we trace them and pop them off. Now we have a reroute guideline. For the reroute, we're going to use this soft pink hair. Using a reroute tool, we plug every pre made hole. Until we have a full head of hair. To secure the hairs from the inside, we use a universal glue and a Q-tip. Wait for the glue to be fully dry before we set the hair with a boil wash. Now that the hair is drying, let's make some homemade flock. For this we need yarn. <laughs> You can cut it in teeny tiny pieces right from the yarn ball, but I personally find the fluff to have a finer texture when combed out. Great, we got some fluff! Let's make the tail. We take a wire and cover it with bandage tape. For the tip of the tail, we use air drying foam. Wait for the foam to be fully dry before you paint it. Using fabric glue, you can give the ears and tail some homemade fluff. Use a toothbrush for a clean finish. Before we pop back the hat, let's make a pattern for a Mew using the plastic wrapping technique. You basically wrap your doll in a thin type of plastic. After that, a layer of tape where you can write on. Scotch tape is also an option. Now you can draw on the pattern. 
and call it off the doll. Great, we're going to continue with that in a minute. First, the head can go back on the body. Her ears can be glued back and her tail can be secured into her body. Okay, now we can make her outfit. Inspired by the Lolita outfits from Chobits. We're going to make a dress loosely based on this pink dress. Trace the patterns on fabric and cut them out. Sew them together and add a skirt. Don't forget to add snaps and hooks. Um, I took some liberties to give the top a better fit. And you can kind of see it. So let's hide it with some nail art decoration. Here we go, invisible! Just like the dress and chobits, I want our Mew to have loose sleeves. Sewing them around the arm is easy. But turning them inside out, oh, that's kind of a hassle. But here we go. And now a word from our spawn. No, no, I don't, I don't really have a sponsor. But if you really like this channel, you can become a supporter on Patreon. You can get access to exclusive videos, early access, buy and scene pictures, channel updates, a name mention, and access to the Dolmotion Discord. Links are in the description box for more information. Thank you for listening and back to the face up. Inspired by the eyes of Chobits, I'm drawing two big eyes with a watercolor pencil. These eyes are actually pretty hard to draw. And I was looking at a lot of reference pictures off screen. Instead of cheese big brown eyes, Mew is getting blue eyes. Just like the Pokemon has. And now it's time for the question of the day. Have you ever thought of creating an online comic? Like on Webtoon, of your those and Divas characters. I would definitely be a follower of that too. Well, that would be a very awesome idea, but I'm not a comic artist. Who knows, maybe in the future? But for now, I'm very busy with moving the Divas series to its own YouTube channel. All old episodes are removed from this channel and will be re-uploaded over there. Also, the first episode will get a better and bigger remake. So, if you would like to know who the next great evil will be, who Felicia will end up with, and what that eye mark on James's hand actually means, subscribe to the Divas Series YouTube channel and you will find out. Thank you for your question. Going back to Mew. We give the doll a bit of blush with micro glitter. And we seal the doll's face with Mr. Superclear. Also inspired by Chobits, we give her bangs and two pigtails in the front. A bit more detail and a layer of high gloss varnish on our lips and Mew is done. And there we go! 
the first mythical Pokemon on the channel. Hey, I wonder, how is Antiterium's Pokemon dog going? Hey, we're back! Oh, hey, how did it go? Great! Do you want to see? Yes, let me see that kitty! Oh, look at that cute face! They could be friends or rivals or a couple so don't forget to check out Antiterium's Meowth Repaint yes we'll be waiting for you see you there I would like to thank my amazing patrons of honor Chelsea Panda Monkey Manning Dreams Winter Fox Cat Fanity Kate Namaru Olivia W Picha the Puff and everyone else on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Thank you guys, you really make all of these videos possible. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!